Hi Kerry Kids, welcome back to our weekly Bible story videos. I hope you had a really fantastic Easter weekend. Maybe you spent time out in the sunshine, in your gardens. Maybe you spent time eating a lot, a lot of chocolate. Well, however you spent the weekend, I hope you were reminded by eating the chocolate eggs or eating the hot cross buns of Jesus's amazing work for us on the cross and how his resurrection is such good news. It's the first week back in our summer term Bible story videos and our true story from the Bible today comes from the book of Exodus. Some of you might know what happens in the book of Exodus but for those of you who aren't really sure what that's all about let me set the scene for you, let me explain what happens. God had a special people and they were all being kept as slaves in a place called Egypt. They were forced to build huge buildings in the hot, hot sun. They didn't have much to eat or drink and they were under the rule of the mean, nasty Pharaoh. They couldn't save themselves. They needed somebody to rescue them. They needed a rescuer. After years of being slaves, God finally carried out his big rescue plan with the help of a man called Moses. Moses was the man that God chose to help lead his people out of slavery in Egypt into a safe, safe place called Canaan, the land of Canaan. Our true story from the Bible today is found after God's people have been rescued from Egypt but it's before they reach that special place called Canaan. They are travelling to the land of Canaan. God has shown his people how much he loves them by rescuing them from the nasty Pharaoh and promising to keep them safe. What a kind God. And now he's giving them a set of rules. You see, these rules were given to God's people to help them learn best how to love God and love each other. After all God had done for them, God's people needed to learn how to love him and how to love each other. God gave his people ten special rules to help them learn how to love him and love each other. But we are going to zoom in on just one of those rules today. The rule that we are going to look at is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. And this is the rule. It says, you shall not murder. You shall not murder. Hmm. Well, what does murder mean? It means to kill somebody, to take their life away. Well, you might be thinking, well, that's easy, isn't it? God's people probably didn't go around trying to kill each other, did they? That's a pretty easy rule to follow. Well, did you know that thousands of years later, after God gave his people this rule, Jesus himself talks about this rule. You see, the commandments God gave his people were to help them learn how to love God and love each other, weren't they? After God rescued his people, the least they could do was show how much they love him and obey these commands. Well, Jesus explains this a little bit more for us. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5, Jesus tells us that, yes, if you murder someone, that is not loving to them. It's breaking God's good rules. But Jesus also tells us that even thinking about hurting somebody is just as bad as murdering them. You see, God knows his people very, very well. He knows that the action of murdering somebody, or hitting a brother or sister, or hurting someone we love, all of those actions start up here. They start with our thoughts. And Jesus knew this too. He knew that if we get angry on the inside, that is what makes us hurt people on the outside. Whether that's saying horrible things to our family or lashing out at other people. All of 
that is just a part of what the Bible calls sin. It's the opposite of keeping God's good rules. It's when we don't keep his rules. It's when we don't love him. It's when we don't love each other. Sometimes you can't even see sin. Sometimes it might be the bad things you think in your head about somebody else. It might look on the outside that you are loving and kind and friendly and you love other people and you love God. But there's something inside this balloon. On the inside, you're angry with somebody, you're jealous or you're frustrated. The only person who can see what's really inside of us is God. He's the only one who can see what we're really like and what we really think. Well, the good news is that he's also the only one who can help us to change. You see, just like when God's people couldn't rescue themselves, they needed God's help, didn't they? We can't rescue ourselves from sin. We can't rescue ourselves from thinking jealous or angry thoughts about people. We need to ask for his help, don't we? And you know what, when we say sorry to God, when we ask Jesus to help us fight sin, he really does help us. He gives us his Holy Spirit to help us love God and love each other. In the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, it's not talking about real fruit, like a banana or an apple or a strawberry. But actually, when the Bible talks about this kind of fruit of the Spirit, it's talking about the things that we think and feel and the things that come out of us when we ask for God's help. You see, instead of feeling angry towards other people, the Holy Spirit helps us to love people in our thoughts and in our actions and all we need to do for the Holy Spirit to help us is say sorry to God to ask Jesus to help us fight sin and God gives us his Holy Spirit to help us love instead of become angry and cross on the inside. I have some questions I would like you to discuss with, with mummy or daddy or someone who cares for you at home. First question I'd like you to discuss is what are some of the things that make you angry inside? The next thing I'd like you to discuss is what are some of the things you do when you feel angry on the inside? And finally, what have you learnt today that could help you to help each other when you feel angry on the inside? I'm going to pray now that ask God to forgive me for my sin, to forgive me for the times where I become angry. And I'm going to ask for his help to help me fight sin and to show the fruit of the spirit. Dear God, I'm sorry when I become cross and angry at other people. Please help me to fight this sin and please help me to trust in Jesus, the one who defeated sin on the cross. Please help me to trust in you. Amen. Well, now it's time to complete the leaflet from today's lesson. Now, you should have received a pack in the post that included a booklet that looks a bit like this. Each of these booklets contains a leaflet for the Bible lesson that we're going to teach you each week. Now this week's lesson is the first leaflet in the booklet. All you need to do is grab a pen or a pencil and work your way through the first page and the second page of this booklet. Each leaflet for each lesson is double sided so you'll have to complete both sides of the page for each lesson. We hope you really enjoy these booklets and find them really helpful in understanding God's word better. See you soon.